All right. Wait. Well, last time we started with the banger too, with the go home Annie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so let me find this next one. This one, uh, remember how I said uh, both me and Katie picked one? The same one? Uh huh. This is it. Okay. All right, hopefully that captures. There we are. It's called Home Safety Hotline. I have to be careful because there are spiders on this one that we don't have to click, though. Okay. Uh, let's start with the. Hmm. Let's start with the the demo here, right? I love the interface. First of all, I love this old ass. Give uh, me these '90s yeah. desktops. This is how we first learned how to type on the computer. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got to clock in. Like I forgot to do this morning. <laughs> I, I I forgot to do it earlier. Uh, all right. This is the uh. You'll see on the side here. There's a house spider. I ain't clicking that. I don't have to. Oh, Who's we have a call. Us? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here. Let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Yeah, I'm sure we'll talk again soon. So at first I thought we were like ADD, you know? Oh. <laughs> like home security? Not quite. Well, once I saw mole and mice and fly and termites, I'm like, so we just answering stupid ass questions people calling in for? That's a B. Yep, those are bees. That's a B. That sounds right. Black mold. Oh, to remove the... Oh. Let me turn off my B.Wav. <laughs> John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Mm -hmm. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I thought he just said it looks like caca to me for a second. Is that a coffee? Please hold. I don't know. <laughs> it's gotta be black mold, right? Let's see what else we got here, though. Gopher. It can't, it's probably, definitely not a gopher. Probably not a gopher. I don't think it's a mice. I don't think it's ticks and termites. It's gotta be black It's mold. black. I think it's black yeah. mold. Okay. This whole music is good, too, though. Yeah. We did it. Good job. We helped this fucker figure out what black mold was. <laughs> You can't tell what black mold is by looking at it with your two eyeballs. Yeah, it just looks like coffee to me. I don't know. Carpenter ants. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard, and I was told it wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. Oof. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Like, for real poops? Like, Please are we talking for real this time about caca? Hmm. I wonder if it's a gopher? It's a brown thing? Yeah, <laughs> look at it. Yeah, I bet she's a gopher. Could be gopher. Could or it be, could be a mole. Could be a mole. Let's see what the mole looks like. Look how cute! <laughs> <laughs> they're dark brown furry animals. He didn't say nothing about no pink. He just said there was they're, a bunch of brown shit. Their burrows tend to look like volcano shaped mounds, though, right? Um. Warning never kill a mole. Okay. Wonder why. Uh, what's the gopher one? What the gopher said? Gopher said. Live in burrows. People. Oh, so maybe it is a mole. I think it's a mole. Because okay. I think it's making the mounds. 
And if he says it looks like poo poos? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, but what else is an option? Uh, let's see. Termites? No. Ticks? No. I don't think it's a house spider. I don't think it is either. Don't think it's a house fly. Mm -mm. Don't think it's cockroaches. Mm -mm. Don't think it's carpenter ants. Mm -mm. That's it. That's all we got. Okay. Mole. This hold music's pretty good. I know. I like it too. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we're killing it. Look at us. First day on the job. Wow. We're doing so good. Nice. He. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Nicole. Uh -huh. Why is this on this list? <laughs> mm. We'll find out. I'm sure one of those inaccessible answers is going to be it. Hmm? It's in my bedroom right now. It's watching me. I, I think it wants something from me. It's coming closer. It's coming for me. Okay. <laughs> I think Gary didn't make it. Oh, yeah. We didn't even put him on hold. He just... Sure didn't. He's done. So Gary's dead. Oh, <laughs> God. R.I.P. Gary. Well, mold. Oh. All right. Got to think that's mold. I don't get an answer. So we're just going to listen to the mice. Yep. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's probably mice. nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Some of these people probably shouldn't be owning houses. Hmm? Please hold. Please hold. I think it's a mice. You think it's mice? Let's just go mice. I think it's a mice. She said it went eek, eek, eek. eek, eek. The mice. Good job. Perfect. We're three for three. Mm -hmm. That that one guy doesn't count. Here you don't count. He did. Yeah. He should have called the police or something. You probably should have. My first, if there's something coming to get me, my first thought is not, let me just call it HSH. You call HSH. <laughs> just real quick. Let me, let me just, in case. Fucking Ghostbusters. Let's see. Yo, Buzz Goober here. Been having <laughs> a heck of a time over here. Have a good day. Snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place, I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times, and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Buzz, I'm here to help. No, oh, he, no you're not. He hung up. He hung up. <laughs> He's dead. Buzz is also dead. Buzz Goobier over there. Do you know ticks are arachnids? I don't care. You don't care? I don't like ticks. I know. Me neither. Nobody likes ticks. I'm just saying, like... Hello? Hey. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? <laughs> My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow, and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. Are we I the fucking yellow play, pages? I'm sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? <laughs> Please hold. Uh. Are, hold up. Lawn mowing. Is uh, that an my, option? If it abuses and mows and gets uh, it's getting real crazy. Look. Looking like a rainforest over here. Blah, my kid blah. is complaining about being, being too sick. sick to do anything about it. Blah, blah, blah. He, he don't give a fuck about his sick child. Mm. He's just worried about his lawn. What if it's... What's she going to send to him? 
ants. Oh, wood. Nah, probably not. Probably ants are wood ants. That's why they fuck up your house. Just like termites. Termites and wood. Ticks? Ticks. Let's just say ticks. No, look at the tick. What? Nothing. You want to look at tick? Play it wrong. I'm just saying, like, if he's feeling sick. A whole bunch of this shit. Oh, he's probably ticks, though. He probably yeah. got ticks. If it's looking like a rainforest and the kid is sick, he probably got yeah. Lyme disease. Yeah, it's probably ticks. Okay. Well, I thought he was looking for a lawnmower service. He is. <laughs> That's why I said, are we the white pages or the yellow pages? Yeah, this is really like, hey, we did it. All right, cool. Take your kid to the fucking doctor. Why are you calling us for this shit, dummy? You know how pissed I would be if I actually worked here? These bees look kind of cute. I'm getting pissed now thinking about it. Ooh. Hello. What's up, girl? Hey, Hello. Carol. It's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential okay. and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Yeah. Nothing more. We're not Thank doing you. it. We're not fixing it. We're just saying, hey, this is what's wrong. Yeah. You then call Ghostbusters and figure All it right. out. Let's see what else we got. Bat. Carbon monoxide. Bat. Look at a cutie. What's this noise? What's the noise for the bat? Ah, shit. Ah. I can't even review the stuff. Alright. Dan? <laughs> Dan, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on hold for a little bit, okay, buddy? Alright? We'll we'll get this sorted out. I need to review my materials, okay? Alright, okay. One second. Please hold. Carbon monoxide. Cockroach. If you never look at cockroaches. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. A common hob. Oh. Most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures of the gray, burlap-like burlap skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. Okay, there's a blank-ass face. <laughs> they are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Mm -hmm. Hobbs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous, mischievous acts and metamorphosis. All right. There's the desk hob. Regularly <laughs> 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 uh, like to tidy, ti like to tidy their homes, and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. Well, that's probably what's happening here. Feast. Into large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently in, including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. Mm. Fungi. He's a fungi. False beet. Mm hmm. Uh -uh. I like, I love that they sprinkle in regular stuff like frozen pipes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, house fires. Ooh. Probably not that. Probably also shouldn't be calling us for that. What's a lamp sprite? Oh. Common, uh, a common subspecies of sprite that make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamp they inhabit to flicker and burn hotter. Okay. Ah, the good old stair slug. We've all had one of these. Oh, yeah. Who hasn't? Large dog-sized slugs that are oh, commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with the stair slugs commonly report slimy residue with the, on the steps. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to dangerous accidents and slippage. I think we're gonna go with the, the, desk, the desk hob. The desk hob. Okay. Uh, you got yourself a desk hob. Uh, don't worry too much about it. Yeah, we got it. All right, cool. We are fucking nailing it. No wonder they promoted us right away. Mm -hmm. Like five for five right now. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else new? Ah, new. wood secretions. We should probably look at that too. Oh. <laughs> you again? Johnny again. I got beef with you. 
Your people gave me bad info. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. You okay. wasted well. your time. What was he called? Oh, it was... It was the, the mold thing that we thought. It's probably something that we didn't actually have. Fucking idiot. Uh, wood secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Mm. What's a translation of flesh? Who knows, but it does sound good. It's, it's this John again. He can just fuck off. What if it's Goober? We can't help him. Oh. Who, who are you? Sorry, I'm a... Uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to, uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because mm. I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Hmm. Pollen is probably getting oh. in because I have that problem as well with the pollen. Do never in, do not ever insult or shout at wood. <laughs> it's at the bottom. Be nice to your wood. All right. Well, this sounds like uh, possibly. Uh, is the false beat maybe let out some spores? Trick gardeners. No, that's not this. Black mold? That doesn't cause sneezes, does it? Allergic reactions or breathing problems. Yeah, I would say. And it stinks. <laughs> Good ventilation in high moisture areas of the home. Uh, hmm. What's the what's the carbon monoxide situation? Death. I feel like mine You ever think about your carbon monoxide detector? Yeah. I never once give it a second thought. Because it it will let me know if I need to switch out the battery, so. Oh, I never switch out my stuff. The building does it for me. That's nice. They're always up in my house, though. Yeah. I don't think it's carbon monoxide. No, no it's not. I just wanted to see what it said, though. Yeah. What's it sound like? <laughs> just, uh, my fan? Sounds just, like my fan? Just wind. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. Let's go with black mold. Black mold. Uh-huh. All right, Mike. Let's see what your your deal is, buddy. Okay. Good. So hold up, we don't know for sure if we got the answer correct. Yeah, it doesn't. Then. It doesn't actually tell we us. Just, we just said fuck it. Go. Successfully sent. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, and good luck. Mm. So we're actually not liable for this. <laughs> Look, based off the shitty information you're giving me, here's what I'm trying to figure out to help you fix your problem. But you calling the wrong person anyhow. There, there is a recorded message at the beginning saying. We are not liable. If this is fucking homeboy again. Oh. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, yeah. maybe to disguise the robbery? At Brownies. night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> is there something you can do? Uh, yeah, there is, actually. Please it's a hob. Hold. It's a common hob, right? I think it's a common hob. Uh-huh. They, they, they ain't doing nothing. It's a brownie, but it's a hob. Cobs, uh, uh, cobs. Hobs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. It's a brownie. What do they sound like, you think? Let's hear it. Like vacuuming? And, and yeah. rustling dishes and shit. I, yeah. All right, let's go hab. 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 Got yourself one of them uh, common hobs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just leave out a bowl of cream or milk at night, and uh, you'll they'll they'll keep cleaning your place for you. Mm -hmm. They might like some honey too with it. They like sweet. No, shit. don't do honey. No. No, they do. The fae like honey and cream. I'm just being. And bread. It's a common misconception about hobs. Who is this? Who are you? Hey, yeah, name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Okay. Uh-huh. Thanks. I have 
never seen such a big old mass left. Why has he got, why's he got the James Bond mouth? <laughs> Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Fuck so you. you Hang do? up. What you gonna do to make this right? Sir. Don't talk to me like that. Grab you by the goober and smack you around until next Sunday. Do not talk to me that way. You have threatened me. I've had it recorded. Cops will be at your house soon. <sighs> what now? This is what works like, actually. It really Hello, employee. Is. Supervisor Carol here, letting you know that your trial employment period here has ended. Oh. Please remember that all you have seen here is strictly confidential. Who am I going to share this with? Tell anyone what you have learned here today. Our eyes rest upon me. We hope to work with you again soon. Okay, thanks, Carol. Pleasure working with you. I'm going to go home and tell you. Hey, boo, guess what I, I... Oh, my God. All the calls I had today. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm concerned about the stability... I'm a little nervous because I don't know if there's a spider in there. So I'm gonna kind of look off to the left here. That's fine. I'll watch for us. <laughs> there were Satan worshippers in my shed. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. Okay. That sounds like a household problem, not my problem. I really like the setup for this guy. She really like, called and said that. Like, it's not like, it's not like, you know, it's not like jump it's scare not. scary or anything, but it's like, it's just like a little unsettling sometimes seeing the, uh huh. It's, I think it's good. The calls um, are weird. The, the worst part is you're like, fuck, any customer service person is like, I've dealt with someone yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, you, it's cool. You can like actually like click the stuff over here. Um, I also realize I'm not capturing my mouse, but oh well, you get the picture. Well, Nicole. What's up? Oh, we're done with the we're done with the game. That's it. That was just yeah, just oh. a trial. Okay. Or trial employment. Uh, would you like to go first, or shall I go first? Uh, I went first last time, so you go first this time. Okay. We take turns. I'm actually sticking with a four. I will give it a four. I really like, I really like the aesthetic. Mm -hmm. I love they they nail the '90s computer look straight up have the windows xp background <laughs> um i like the uh the kind of slow reveal of like oh this is like i'm dealing like ghosts and boogans yeah uh the phone calls the little voice active phone phone calls are fun mm -hmm. uh, i like that there's the there's a lot of room for stuff that could be really cool and creepy mm -hmm. in this too mm -hmm. i think that's uh and that's fun yeah i i i bleh, bleh, bleh. I, um, oh, that was neat. I agree with all that. I said, I uh -huh, it all. Um, I do wish that you were able to have a little bit more storyline. Just, just to, like, mm -hmm. to see a little bit more. And, like, what's it matter? Because clearly there's something going on in your place of business also that's going to impact you as the new employee. Mm -hmm. So what happens if, you know, you do, you break the rules? I yeah. kind of want to see that. That's what happens. I guess so. Um, but no, I. That was it. Uh, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. It's a neat setup, and I think they could do a lot of cool things with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that right. the, was the whole like the end of the game, or is that just like the beginning, like demo? That's like it? that is just a demo. So. Okay. Okay, so there there could be more stuff. Yeah. Too. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. I think if I want to see more what happens next, I'm gonna give it you know a, a better rating versus I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Mm -hmm. 